In the college ranks, the Harvard University men's basketball team will play at least one more game with the Crimson accepting an invitation to play in the collegeinsider.com tournament. They'll take on Appalachian State tomorrow night. Now, Harvard's invitation is due largely in part to the play of a unique senior who has a shot at the next level. Jessica Moran has the story. Another frozen Charles River sunset casts light on Harvard University, a place which houses some of the top academic minds in America that's also home to an athletic marvel. He is Jeremy Lin, Harvard's 6'3 all Ivy League point guard, a rare athlete who could suit up for any college team in the country and just may have what it takes to bring his game to the next level. We've had a number of NBA people that are tracking him or scouting him. Uh, I think he has an opportunity to play at that level. Lynn does it all. He leads the team in points, steals, and assists, and he's been first-team all-conference two years in a row. But the Crimson star hasn't just dominated the Ivy League. Lynn shines brightest against the toughest competition. Back on December 6th in a nationally televised game against UConn, Lynn led all scores with 30 points. And he's lit up Boston College twice in the last two meetings, both Harvard victories, averaging 26 points per game. What does he do for you guys on the basketball court? If it's multiple choice and you usually get to the, the letter E or D when it says all of the above, <laughs> that's what he does. He does everything. Lynn is clearly rare talent, but what sets him apart from other players is his heritage. He's the son of Taiwanese immigrants, and to put that in perspective, fewer than 0.5% of men's Division I basketball players are Asian American. <laughs> Jeremy's career here at Harvard is all positive, but on the road, things get tough and negative. He experiences the normal yelling by opposing team's fans, but some take things too far by taking shots at his Asian American heritage. You know you have arrived when you know you're starting to take shots. Uh, that's uh, the mark of someone that's doing something and probably doing it very well when people are trying to uh, you know, get under your skin or even do things that are completely uncalled for. It's pretty bad, just some racial slurs, some just Kind of di direct things at Jay, uh, at his ethnicity, things like that. Coaches have been really good about that. They, they just make sure that we, we play for ourselves and not for anybody else. Um, we're not really worried about what other people say about us, good or bad. The California native's resolve off the court is as strong as his game on it. He is lightning quick, leading the Ivy League in steals in the past two seasons. Offensively, he is nearly impossible to stay in front of. And when he gets by you, he's not afraid to take it into and sometimes over the trees. That combination of speed, quickness, and leaping ability is forcing the NBA to take a long, hard look at Lynn. He's already been invited to some of the NBA uh, postseason camps that they run, pre-draft camps that they run. So all that is in the mix with Jeremy, and uh, I think he has an incredible opportunity in front of him to become an NBA player. All of this NBA attention is creating a spotlight. Lynn is much too humble to embrace. Sometimes individual honors, uh, you know, they, they talk about one person, but it's, you know, anyone who watches a game and watches this play knows it's, it's a lot more than one person. But in Lynn's case, that one person has the chance to do something few like him have ever done before. For Comcast Sportsnet, I'm Jessica Moran. Right now, Jeremy is planning on playing in the NBA. He's projected to be a second-round pick. If he doesn't go pro, then Lynn wants to take a very different career path. He's planning on entering the ministry so he can become a pastor and work with kids.